Hi everybody, welcome to our Live with Children here at Akima. It's day three and I'm delighted to be at the Cinticon booth with my good friend, Klaus Ulla, who is going to talk to me about the FFP. So Klaus, first of all, it's lovely to see you again. How are you, my friend? Rizwan, welcome here on our booth in uh, Frankfurt at the Akima. Nice seeing you, nice seeing all the customers here and I'm happy to show you our FFP, Flexible Filling Platform, part of our Vercinta Small Batch Filling Group. My name is Klaus Uller, I'm a Senior Product Manager from Syntagon in Kreuzheim and I give you a short tour showing you the highlights of the FFP. Okay, before you do that Klaus, quick question for you. This is day three of Akima. Absolutely. Uh, how have the first two days gone for you? Wonderful and um, many much more customers than we have expected. It's August and so normally it's vacation time also for me <laughs> and uh, but it's it's really wonderful to having uh, all the customers here and my voice is still intact so I'm uh, so glad that I can do the video with you today. That's yeah. fantastic. So Klaus, um, please talk me through it. Obviously tell me more about the FFP and what makes it unique. Absolutely. First we want to start it so that uh, our yeah, it's running so that, that the people also see something. So actually we are showing two modules here. This is the denesting, renesting unit. Yeah. So for ready to use containers here we are showing the vines with RMO caps. Uh, but we can do also uh, normal caps and uh, normal stuffers. Syringes for example, all the formats and uh, nested cartridges. These are modules and when you look a little bit upwards, we have the integrated air handling. So uh, the isolator, we do our own isolators and uh, the integrated air handling means we take the air from the room and give it back into the room. So we can put this machine into the farmer building as it is. No need for a technical ceiling. Yeah. Fantastic. So and over there we have the filling and closing module. <clears throat> What we are addressing here is a small batch filling for biotech drugs, high cost drugs. So some buzzwords would be personalized medicine, orphan drugs for example. Also a little bit going to the direction of cell and gene therapy. And uh, therefore we have 100% IPC, so we are checking each and every container. Uh, we have your peristaltic pumps, but you can combine it with other pump systems as well. And the basis here is our own farmer handling unit, our own robot, uh, making a really, really uh, smooth transport, no glass-to-glass -glass contact. And uh, what we also see here is a uh, built-in flexibility, meaning we can go from one container to another by size part change only. And speaking of high-cost drugs, we can also gather every drop out of the system during start of production, during end of production. We call that those in, those out. And after proper fill, we have to properly close the uh, containers. And therefore, we have a functionality called safe stoppering. So uh, if the stopper would be missing, we will go back again, fetch the stopper, and so that we have 100% yield out of that whole line. Then you see also here it's modularized, so we're having two meter modules here and you can add other modules, you can add a freeze dryer, but for sure also a silicone freeze dryer. This is all possible, it's a very flexible system. You can use it in parallel, so for liquid filling and for, for LIO, so during the LIO process you could use these two modules for filling and uh, for liquid filling of syringes, for example. And you have to imagine here, this is not shown on the on here, a back opening and top opening that we are using from our legacy portfolio from the syringes. So um, I would say this is, is in a nutshell, there are still some other small, very nice features in it. And, and for that, we are happy when people are coming here, we explain it or contact us after the, uh, the show. That would be absolutely great. Yeah. Well, actually, Klaus, I have to say that obviously we haven't really had a detailed look at the second half of it because obviously the ATP side is so popular that so many people are having a look at it. So it actually shows that it is of the moment because people are genuinely coming and having a look at that. I can't even get close enough to film it. So, Klaus, if people uh, want to come and find you, uh, where are you here at Akima? 
it's the hall 3.1 and it's the booth c71 if i remember right fantastic yeah. and if people can't make it here this week because they may be on vacation uh <laughs> where else can they see the instrument in person yeah we for, for the FFP we are in Kreisheim, south of Germany, but we have uh, yeah, it's one Syntagon, so we have also our service people here from different sites. Uh, we have here uh, from from yeah, sites all over Europe here, and so they you can go through your Syntagon partner in your country, and they will connect you to the right place. As we said, we for the finish part and for the inspection part. We are here in uh, south of Germany, Kreisheim. Brilliant. And if they want to get more information? Yeah, it's, uh, go to the internet. We have a special landing page for the Sunda. They also see some small videos. And you can, you can order brochures and you get a, a nice uh, package. I'm doing also some, some YouTube videos about stopper setting and so on that you can find uh, in the internet. Yeah. So, and there also you have a contact address uh, for getting, getting more content. Well, Klaus, as always, it's a pleasure to see you and to hear you. So there you go, viewers. If you'd like to know more about the FFP, then please come to the Centicon booth here at Absolutely. Akima. If you can't make that, then obviously you can contact your local representative. You can also meet them at lots of shows coming up and also check out the link to it. Now, one thing I forgot to ask, actually, Klaus, is I understand that Centicon won a packaging award this Absolutely. week. Absolutely, yeah. Not for this one, uh, but for our micro batch. So this is uh, the next generation. It's a little bit so-called, we call it the small sister of the FFP, but also uh, with even more features, meaning a gloveless isolator, which is under development at the moment. The prototype is already uh, uh, on our shop floor. And uh, here we won the Deutsche Verpackungspreis is I think German packaging award would be a proper translation. And that was published, I think, uh, last week. Yeah, so we are very proud of that. And here we are showing uh, animations of that and uh, the robotic for uh, showing remote control. So kind of the, the next step, uh, the, the midterm future. Yeah. Brilliant. All right. Well, congratulations on the award as well. So there you go, viewers. If you'd like to know more, come and check out the Centicon booth. Go to the website. Meet them at lots of shows as well. Klaus, have a great show for the rest of the week. And I hope your voice stands out. Mine Thank you so it. much, Chris. Uh, and viewers, I hope you found that interesting. Until next time, as always, stay well and stay safe. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank you.